Our big theme this year is welcome to the four screen world, by which we mean mobile as currently constructed includes tablets and phones. And we looked at that and said that's crazy. Obviously these are two very different use cases, very different, particularly from a media point of view. And that let's treat mobile, treat tablets as its own distinct thing and talk about them in their own terms. And in fact, probably talk less about mobile, about phones, simply because as people are starting to realize, they're actually a pretty crappy medium for watching, you know, yeah, you can watch a movie on it, but you're not going to if you have any other choice. And yeah, you can read a book on it, but you're not going to do that unless you have no other choice. And so let's just focus on what we think are, of the four screens, two of them really stand out as media. One is tablets, which are kind of comfy and interactive and touchable. And then televisions, which are big and cool and spectacular and very emotional and very able to carry a lot of weight. And so we think that those are the two of the four screens we're going to look most closely at tablets and television and let mobile be what it's going to be, which is great for e-commerce. There's lots of things mobile's good for. It's not a great medium. Similarly, the PC has lots of great things you can do with it, but frankly, as everyone's figured out, most people would rather not spend tons of time with their heads stuck in a PC. There's better ways to look at things, and I think that's the theme this year. I'm based in the New York area, and I have a certain affection for things that are going on here, and I think this is really obviously the year when a lot of New York media, digital media properties really kind of had people sitting up. I mean, Ariana Huffington's Huffington Post was merely the tip of the iceberg in a certain way. Uh, if you look, so we're having opening night, we're going to have what we're doing live from New York, Jonah Peretti from BuzzFeed, David Karp from Tumblr, Ben Lear from Thrill List, and a special guest to be named later. And uh, we're thinking we'll get Emma Barnett from the Daily Telegraph. She doesn't even know that yet, but we're going to make her come down and tame the lions and probably give it a let it run. I mean, one of the things we wanted to let this do is, is not be stuck with a conventional kind of panel format where oh wow, 35 minutes, clock ticking, well, we're going to let this run a little bit. We're trying to get the Monaco guys to let us serve hot dogs. I don't know whether they're going to go along with that. They kind of said hot dogs, and why would they want hot dogs? And we said, but anyway, so hot dogs and champagne on the uh, seaside in Monaco is what we have in mind for the first night. Prince Albert, bless him, uh, our, our chairman and patron, uh, just decided six years ago that Monaco should have a media-related event, and he has this nice, beautiful hotel by the sea, and the in, the, in November, it's not amazingly high season there, so it's not expensive to stay in. It's a great place to do an on-site event. So one of our things is, you know, everybody stays in the hotel. It's, it's the best networking event just for that reason. You don't have to go anywhere. There's no buses. There's no schlepping. People don't sneak out for lunch or parachute in to do a talk and then leave. Everybody comes on down. It's relatively easy to get to. You fly to Nice, so it's not like the end of the world. You can get there for an easy jet from London. I actually just bought a ticket, 21 English pounds from London, who knew, to fly all the way to Nice. Uh, and so that's part of our secret sauce is that we have this location-based, if you like, event. The second thing is that we're really seriously invite only, and we always have them. We don't sell tickets. You gotta pass a certain test. There's nature of which will never be revealed. It's like the secret of Coca-Cola. Uh, but it involves you know, looking at who you are and what you do. And so we have a really amazing, I mean, I, I, as the program director, I like to always think, oh, we have a really great program. But what we really have at Monaco is a killer audience. And in fact, I think a lot of times, I've often thought that if we got those frantic emails the day before from the entire program, every speaker said, oh, sorry, I can't make it. We could actually do quite well just picking out of the audience. We could, we could do an, um, we mean, in fact, Yossi Vardy, bless him, another of our frequent flyers, uh, you know, is a big proponent of unconference. We would be the best unconference. The biggest problem we'd have is that if we put up the famous whiteboards and had people, we, we'd need 15 whiteboards and we'd need to stick around for three weeks to accommodate all the people. So, unfortunately, we don't do an unconference, but it has the feeling of an unconference.